sound is going on. That's me. Serena, we love you. Made a new friend. Serena Juan. I'm a filmmaker, a tree hugger, and a total road dog, roaming the globe for both business and pleasure. In my travels, I've met some amazing folks taking incredible measures to preserve the culture, ecosystem, and help boost the economy of the place they call home, a practice that is widely known as sustainable tourism. As a planet and a people lover, this touched my heart. One's running away. Can you sing? I can sing okay. I guess I'm gonna sing. From the main strip to off the beaten path, I'm on a mission to find hotels and companies that are exemplary of great sustainable effort. 95% clean. Clearing customs with Zarina Wan. Sustainable travel for the adventurous soul. Our first stop in Guatemala is the city of Antigua, which way back in 1543 was actually named Santiago de los Caballeros by the Spanish conquistadors. Yeah, for real. And for more than 200 years, served as the seat of the military governor of the Spanish colony of Guatemala. Back in the day, in 1773, the Santa Marta earthquake destroyed much of the town. The devastated city of Santiago de los Caballeros was ordered abandoned and was then on referred to as Antigua. So besides being known for its churches, Antigua is also known for doors and door knockers as well as being a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which means that its Spanish Baroque colonial architecture is protected. Today, Antigua is repopulated with cute shops and small eateries. Among my favorites is Buena Luisa Chicoten Gatal. With over 60 local employees, this cozy panaderia is best known for its friendly staff, healthy portions, and fresh baked pasteles. Mmm, sustainability at its delicious best. Parque Central, or Central Park, is the heart of the city, where the reconstructed fountain serves as a popular gathering spot. So nighttime is quickly approaching here in Antigua, and Antigua is a very fitting name because this is one of the oldest cities in Guatemala. It actually means antique in Espanol. So currently, this city is one of the hottest places for tourists to arrive because it is central to a lot of different destinations. When night falls on Antigua, tourists, locals, and lovers slowly shuffle into intimate restaurants and wine bars to enjoy the warm weather. Whether you're a duo or a solo act, a great bar is not hard to find. You can either go quiet, low-key, or straight up freeze come out at night, kicking it to live music in any of the great spots that surround the park. on clearing customs Guatemala. Nothing like an early morning hike. On the moon? No, up an active volcano, silly. <laughs> of course. Oh, and um, I, um, I, I found more things to eat.